has got to be the best footage I've ever seen come out of this game. There was so many clips that came this close to getting in, like that close, buddy, to getting into the top five. But just the slightest little inconsistency with my criteria, dude, threw them off the podium. It is, dude, it is so sad. I don't want to be a judge. Nobody should want to be a judge, man. My heart is, dude, it's in pieces. The only way I can make my soul feel whole again is to just give some extra spicy credit to those people who were so close to making the cut. And that's right, rubber ducky. We're talking about a video game here. Firstly, I have to give it up to Flatliner. He sauced his body around this support beam in a way that no human thought was possible. Pops off the power line, goes for that switch cork A10 with the bow and arrow grab, hits the yippity yap, hits the dippity dap dude, and then pulls it to his feet. One of the most creative lines I've seen an individual take through a power line in this game. Rest assured, she's a little bit difficult, buddy. I don't see anybody replicating that. But relative to the competition, I had to dock him. I had to dock him just, dude, slightly on execution and that slight dock pushed him out of the top five. Dude, this is so sad for me to make the misty 450 lead japan to tail tap was absolutely sick but that late mute grab and kind of frantic ski out forced me to deduct him just slightly on execution now that is so minor but the issue is you guys have gotten way too good at this game buddy so minor little infraction like this buddy is just gonna put you out of the top five now and that just makes my soul yearn arrow mix laced up what i think is the largest tree disaster ever stomped in this game From a difficulty perspective, this was a 10 out of 10, dude. I can't imagine he did this first try. Is it creative? Well, gosh darn it, it is, buddy. I haven't seen anybody saucing this before. But was a 10 out of 10 given for execution? And I, I can't say it was, man. There was some fumbling going on in the midst there. I mean, that's to be expected when you're going for a disaster the size of the Taj Mahal. But this is a highly risky spot to be engaging your twigs in. If you pull it off with absolute precision, buddy, you're gonna be highly rewarded. I love you and, and I'm sorry. Gotta give it up to one of the guys you saw in the intro for Dude, like, what? <laughs> you know what I mean? And they didn't cut the clip off early. That's that's how the clip ends. For a top five submission to be valid, you gotta, you gotta show the landing. And that is so upsetting, man, because I haven't seen sorcery like this in the game before. Flumpy giving love to hole-in-ones and the god-given sport of pinball, brothers. Switch cork 540, roof ride, pretzel 180, rock ride to another pretzel 180 I cannot imagine how many attempts it took to put this to his feet. He even managed to land this thing clean. But what hurt him, and quite frankly, to no fault of his own, was that last pretzel 180 You can see his character roll down the windows, flailing in the air. He's just he's not having a good time after hitting that piece of igneous super unfortunate that this happened but again dude the stakes are just so high because you guys are too good oh can't imagine a lot of you guys stuck around for that full ramp but for those of you who did hopefully that gave a little bit of color on how i actually go about judging these things and again another big ups to flatliner arrow mix skinny and flumpy for submitting some mad heat this month and just understand there's no way i'd ever be able to recreate what i just witnessed i can't even land a top five worthy clip anymore more. You guys are too good. Deepy Carl throwing one of the steeziest rotations I have ever seen. It barely even conforms to textbook terminology. Also digging his nostrils far down south, brother. Follows it up. Cleanest ride out I've seen in ages. Now getting a double nose drag across the top of a nippity nup isn't too difficult. What made this clip so good was the combination of that textbook drag and that insane rotation. Definitely up for debate, but it looks like he sets this 90 butter cork 720, tosses it to a misty three type of Lincoln axis, and then unravels the whole trick with another cork 720. So all in all, it was it was a triple 1800, right? Three flips and five full rotations, but it just looks so sick because he went from like a backwards rotating axis where your hips go in front of you to a forward rotating axis, which was that kind of misty 360 thing we saw in the middle. And then back to another backward rotating axis, so unraveling with that cork 720. Everything about that piece of virtual skiing was pitch perfect, buddy. Steepy Carl, congrats on the fifth place.
That is so hectic, but he made it look so easy, bro. And out in the Japan backcountry, right side bio 720 with the bow and arrow grab, left side cork five blunt, nose tap on the power line, breezes himself into some mother nature to get that switch 720 out. Did you see every single landing was, uh, you know? He also submitted another clip that uh, I had a good time watching. Congrats on the fourth place, dude. Whoa. Eli Tokes taking a fat seat on a notorious spot in this game. Where we turn left, Eli turns north, brother. Usually you see people hitting this spot as a hole in one, but Eli is the first one to send a quad misty 18 hundo, treat the top of it as a wall ride, and then toss a gorgeous Pratt's 180 out. The landing, like, dude, it doesn't even look like his knees bent. Just graze down there. Ah! Eli, congratulations. Absolute animal switch double flat spin nine hundo hitting a blunt to blunt to Japan tweet. Tell Sir Isaac Newton to freak off by hitting that upside down roof ride before letting gravity do its work, tossing that left side cork seven twenty over the last bit of rocks with the trail and safety. It's getting to the point where you just can't put these clips into words. What are words but just a combination of mumbled sounds? Yeah, dude, I don't know. That's, uh, it's too late for me to think about that. He also just casually submitted the first ever proximity glitch triple cork, which turned out to be a triple cork 2700. That is three flips and seven and a half rotations. <laughs> Eclipse! Eclipse giving us clips! Squats on Mother Nature herself, sets a bio 1260, safety tweak, blunt tweak both ways, mute tweak, oppo mute tweak, gets set back into orbit by the good lord, 180, tail tap press one! And it was clean! He also submitted this, and if somebody can explain to me how that is possible, that'd be fantastic. I don't know if this is our first instance of a steep aimbot, but Regardless, man, dude, Eclipse, congrats on that first place. Well deserved. Next top five is going to be going down Sunday, May 9th. So if you guys want to get your clips in, feel free to submit them to my Discord. All you got to do is click that invitation link, pump over to the top five Steep Tricks channel. And then you can toss all your meaty submissions there. Other than that, boys, you know I love you. And you know the good. Good Lord. Good Lord, Rubber Ducky. He loves you. We'll see you in the next one.